Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading for July 31st to August 2nd, 2020. This is for my Capricornies. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorns, before you leave. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, the information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to grab a channeled message here in just one moment. I'm just going to grab a couple of cards. Ah. Interesting. Capricorn. Wow. All right. One more card. What's going on? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. All right. We have the Eight of Cups, Capricorn. The Two of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And the Justice card. Wow. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck... The Queen of Wands. So let's get this message, Capricorn, and see, see what spirit has for you. Let yourself go with your own flow, Capricorn. And what I'm feeling by that is whatever that flow is for you, be a part of it. So, because I'm getting like, even if it's quote unquote negative energy, right? Like anger or sadness, right? Sort of low vibrational energy. They're saying, let it in. And I've gotten this a couple times today, um, actually in a personal reading today. But I'm getting, you know, it's like, let it flow through you. Don't try to block it off. Let it flow through you and ground it into the earth. Okay. But then turn your focus somewhere else. So feel it, let go, and then turn your focus on something that you know uplifts you. A piece of music, um, anything. A walk, something, right? So just go from one thing to the next to the next. What they don't want you to do is to stay stagnant in an energy for too long. You don't want to wallow in any energy for too long. Well, unless it's happiness, right? If you're very uplifted, stay in that zone. But they're not, they're wanting you to keep going, okay? Because they're saying there's tough times ahead for some of you. So they're wanting you to keep going. Don't, stagnant energy is, is like um, a, a, detrimental to you. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Queen of Wands. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, right? This is the mistress of the deck. This is somebody who's confident, who goes, who dances to the beat of their own drum, I'm hearing, but they go for what they want. Right? And they usually get it. They're very goal oriented, very creative, very sexual as well. Is this okay? This may be the person that, because you're anxious here, right? Now, the Nine of Swords is a cross from the Justice card. Is a twin flame card of mine? Doesn't have to be. This could be. Um, you know, being anxious about a Libra, that is a Libra. This could be being anxious about um, court, if you have courts. Anxious about, no, it's not that. 
I'm feeling it has to do with this Queen of Wands. Now, just because it's feminine doesn't mean it can't be masculine. But let's clarify here. There's something you're walking away from, but there's also something you're not seeing. You're not listening to your intuition when it comes to something. And I feel like this anxiety and fear is getting in the way. Tell me about this Two of Swords. You're blocking off your heart chakra. And that's your guide through life. So otherwise, you, you get stuck in that energy. Yeah. Five of Cups. So there's some sadness about the past. I feel it's about this Two of Cups, right? A relationship. Could have been with this Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Could be somebody was giving to two people. Somebody was being breadcrumbed. Yeah, this is weighing heavy on your mind, Capricorn. There is a decision. There's some type of decision you're trying to make, but it's making you freaking anxious. Ooh, are you walking away from love? this is well this is new love you could be walking away from new love I'm not sure why you would be doing that this is also self-love please don't walk away from self-love no 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 don't give that's giving up on yourself why would you give up on yourself you wouldn't and you're not so stop it tell me more about what capricorn's walking away from why is this here yeah strength well you know what you have the strength, Capricorn, to deal with whatever is happening here. You have it. Dig deep. This, again, is indicative of your heart. You got to dig deep in your heart and, and stay strong within your heart space, not your ego space, not ego. Okay, that is where your power lies, is in the heart, does not lie in the ego temperance you have an angel looking over you through this anxiousness through this fear you even may be having nightmares over this because they're asking you to embrace change they're asking you to heal something that needs to be healed they're asking you to let go of some sort of burden you feel like is there's some sort of burden that you need to let go of but you keep carrying it why because if you were to just turn around you've got two of cups standing up right there but if you're focusing only on the cups that are spilt, that's the energy that you're going to remain in. So keep it, that's why they're saying keep it moving, right? Keep it moving. That's, that's what your mantra should be for the next month. That's what I'm feeling. I haven't done your August reading yet, but I, I should be doing it tomorrow. I've done a couple so that'll be interesting to see what your energy is for August. Justice is clarified by the Seven of Cups. So this is confusion, right? This is also dream space. So you may be having dreams that are driving you crazy. Like, are you dreaming the same thing over and over again? You may want to keep track of your dreams, okay? Because it could be your intuition telling you something. This is also options. Maybe you're anxious because you've got all these options and you're not sure which one to choose. Judgment, that's a reunion, but this is also healing. You really need to focus on healing. Okay? So even if this is options, you know, fuck this for now because you have to focus on healing first. You have to focus on the self. You have to focus on loving the self. You have to focus on connecting with the heart because this won't mean shit unless you do. What is, what is your advice for Capricorn regarding, yes, see, balance, 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 body, mind, and spirit. This is cancer energy. This is a connection to the divine. This is yin and yang. This is balance. But you can't go forward, Capricorn, unless you're balanced because the chariot will not move in the direction that you want it to. It's going to go haywire. It's gonna, you're going to get lost. It's going to take a wrong turn. Even if you have the reins or you think you have the reins. But see, in this, 
There is no reins. There is no reins. So how is this being guided? But by his energy, his or her. It's the energy that's guiding. Okay, the animals are picking up on the energy and pulling the emperor, usually it's the emperor in the chariot, forward. Okay, because it's, it's, they're connecting with that heart space, with that energy, with that alignment. So you must get an alignment before you move forward. Okay, but don't, okay, there's a difference between, right, moving forward in alignment and not staying stagnant, okay? Not staying stagnant doesn't mean you're getting in the chariot yet, no. You're not staying stagnant because you're reaching for that alignment and you're trying to keep your energy up here at a higher vibration as much as possible. We're not perfect, right? Shit happens, but if we're aware, we have choice, right? I don't care what's happening. We always have choice. So to keep your vibration up here as much as possible so that you get closer and closer to this alignment. And once you're aligned, it's like, okay, then you're going to know what you're going to do. So then if you have choices, you're going to know because you'll be in alignment and you'll be connected to that heart space. You'll be listening to your intuition. You'll be listening to this angel who's trying to talk to you. You're going to be embracing the change, and then you're going to go forward, full speed ahead. This is one of the fastest cards in the deck, okay? All right, Capricorn, I hope that helped. Let's see. Knight of Cups. This is a love offer. And I feel this might be it, right? The options. Maybe you have options. Which one am I going to make a love offer to? And this is where that chariot is going. But you have to be in alignment first, okay? All right, Cappies, I hope this helps. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. You have yourself a great weekend, Cappies, and I'll talk to you next time. Namaste.